Assalamu alaikum friends I am Mavish and you are watching my channel Mavish Teaches Today I will teach you some rules for assigning variable name for C and C++ language So without wasting any time let's start learning the rules First rule is that first character should be an alphabet that is lowercase alphabet or an uppercase alphabet or it can be an underscore Let's see some example name it has capital N class. It has all small letters. It is also a weighted variable name. Section. It has uppercase letters. It's a weighted variable name. School. It has mixed characters. Some of them are uppercase, whereas some of them are lowercase. It is also a weighted variable name. Underscore A. Underscore is also allowed at the beginning or start of the variable name. Underscore T. It is also weighted variable name. Rule number 2. Underscore digits from 0 to 9, uppercase letters or lowercase letters all are allowed while naming a valid variable. For example, name 2. Section 0034. Rule underscore number. Date underscore of underscore admission. All of these are valid variable names. Let's learn rule number 3. Special symbols are not allowed. So let's see which are special symbols. Explanation marks. At the rate. Hash. Dollar sign. Percentage. Power. And static. Bracket. Curly brackets. Square brackets. All of these symbols are considered special symbols that are not allowed while assigning valid variable names. So let's move towards the next rule. Rule number 4. Blank spaces and comma is not allowed. So let's understand it with some examples. Roll space number. It has a blank space which is not allowed. Date space of space admission is also not allowed as a variable name. Roll comma number is not a good variable name. Date comma or space admission it is not a valid variable. So all of these are invalid variable names. Rule number 5. Reserve words are not allowed to use as variable names. So let's see some examples of reserve words. Else, int, void, include, mean, break. As all of these are reserved words in C and C++ languages, so these cannot be assigned as variable names. So these will be the invalid variable names. Rule number 6. Uppercase letters are considered different from lowercase letters. What does it mean? Let's see an example. Name, which is written in uppercase letter. Name, which has a single uppercase letter whereas others are lowercase letters. That is A and E. Name. That has all lowercase letters. Name. That has mixed characters. That is uppercase letters as well as lowercase letters. Computer or compiler will understand or will consider all of these variables as different. Because it considers uppercase letters different from lowercase letters. So all these variables will be considered different from each other. Rule number 7. Variable name should be meaningful as well as relevant. What does it mean? Let's see it from an example. A, B, C. E, J, 3, I. S, X, double M, double M, double L. Are these some meaningful words? No. These are not meaningful names. These are not meaningful variables. Instead, if I write name, class, section. So these will be meaningful and relevant variable names. I hope you are understanding these rules well. So. If you like my video, then please subscribe my channel and thumbs up for this video. Thank you.